Ooh, ooh, it's cooking hot out here today, everybody. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's actually come down a little bit. It was 29 degrees. So uh, on the mill here, I got one off cut, I think we'll call it, from, uh, well, when we cut some two by sixes. I wanna see if I can get maybe one more two by six slipped out of this guy here. And I got her kind of measured there. I might be able to get it, but I kind of think it's gonna screw up by the time we get to the end here. We'll see how close that we can get to these uh, marks here. That's the two by six right there. I don't know if we're gonna get her or not, but uh, I do wanna try. So I think what we gotta do first is get a side cut on this guy. So we're gonna put these down a little bit. Oh, geez. And I think I'm short. One long bar. I'm, I'm sure I've got one more somewhere. Oh, and look at this big split down here, too. Well, that's great. See, starting to dry and splitting. And that's unfortunately going to be right in the middle of my 2x6. And, boy, this ever slid off here already, too. Holy cow, that's not good. I better get this back on. Let's see, now we're all at a whack on this thing. I don't know about this thing. Oh no, it's going to be a lot of whack here now. I never did fasten her down. I don't usually cut way down here anyways, but... Okay, well, I don't know whether we're going to get a good... A decent 2x6 out of this now. Because she is splitting up pretty good here. See, I'm not sure what they do with their wood in the store that you buy. I know it's kiln dried and all that stuff, but they they gotta do something to it. Now, the fun thing with this is gonna be is trying to keep this thing square on here. To be perfectly honest, I probably should have just tossed this guy off. To the side. But we'll see if we can get a chunk out of her here, maybe. Yeah, that should give us a. Uh... Fairly good, hopefully, square cut there. Hey, yo, yo. And this down here is not sitting nice there. So, let's see. Okay, that's really. Yeah, that's not going to probably do anything there. I don't know if this is going to come out nice and square, but I got to basically cut the edge flat there, flip it over, cut the edge flat, and then cut the whoosh, this this way off, kind of sort of thing. So I did just put a fairly sharp blade on. Oh. We'll crank that down. I do have pretty much a full tank of water. Just make sure this is squirting out onto the blade. Good. I have found that the blade does last longer if you use water. If you don't use water, I found that it... Uh, not quite so good all right I don't know if you can see I've got a cut line there with a hair a bit higher than it but that's okay I'd like to be able to see that come out the right end and we're gonna 
fire this baby up here. Good starter. So when we come through the other end, I think it's gonna probably screw it up, to be honest. I'd like to see it come right out about there. That'll give us enough of a two by six here, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Should be a fairly quick cut too here. Let's just make sure we got water flowing. Yeah, it's not terrible bad. have enough meat there to get at least something that's usable let's see here we shall see I'm gonna have to probably flip it around though all right This one stayed on too, which is good. Surprise of that. They're not super crazy on their system for binding that stuff. I think it could have probably been a lot better, but anywho. All right, so we need to flip this right around you got to make sure you keep the bark and crap off of here because that will screw up your cut for sure really wish i had a way to debark this stuff i don't so all right so we need to <sighs> shimmy this over here now sure there's no bark and that's good I don't have that rocking weird anymore I don't think anyways but uh, cutting this 12 foot stuff I kind of wish there was another bunk like right here and you could probably make something even out of wood put another bunk kind of right there because there's a lot you can't really do much with a 12 foot. Like I could bring it down here, rest it on this bunk, <clears throat> but now you're hanging off that bunk. So what do you do? <laughs> it definitely should have some kind of support. I could go down a little further to the blade here, which gives us, oh, I don't know, like a foot and a half still hanging out, which isn't ideal either, but. Right. Okay, so what we're gonna do here now let's see. we're like right there not a whole lot of room okay not a whole lot of room <laughs> let's see what we can do here though yeah 
we'll just put uh ooh with this kind of thin stuff now i can guarantee this is probably not going to come out square for some reason i'm just thinking this isn't going to work we'll see though maybe it'll be good at the other end i bet you it's going to be too small It'll probably be thinner than that six inch at that end. should have uh, probably like an extra bunk but it might be in the way yeah I think there should be a bunk here for sure though and then, I don't know you can you can move uh, your log clamps here like I could move that one down here which actually might not be a bad idea to, to be honest and I actually did get an extra clamp where a while back um, now let's see here if we success or no success and we just have to skin the top off this one get our two by six are we six at this end oh, we are <laughs> we're, we're right on six hey now maybe we can score one now you probably noticed here I've got other ones you know, I might be able to get a six out of the one underneath this guy here. I bet you, well, maybe not. No, not enough left on that one. So I could probably do a 10 out of that, but unfortunately I could get some stuff out of this. Like I could take this, put it on there and get some of my little uh, one by two name stakes. Could probably do that out of that. If I will though, or not, I don't know, probably not. All right, so now, now the fun begins. Can we score? Oh, I don't like how much angle was on that. Mm. I don't like how much angle was on that. Okay, so we need that one out. this one in. I had uh, bees in the one tube here the other day I had to get rid of. They weren't too fun we'll say. be able to clamp because I put that other piece on it it kind of screws it up a bit hopefully that'll stay there all right we got some measuring to do now be really great I could use it a factory piece that should be an inch and a half yeah I'm 
be tight. Let's see here if we can get her or not. quite warm too. Hmm. Oh well. Well, I see a good bow in it from that clamp. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not. Oh, and it's got a big piece here through it too. That's not good. I kind of like to usually go over it again here. You can see if it's dipped or anything by looking at the blade. Terrible bad, it's hitting a little bit there. All right, shut her down, bud. Now we can hear each other talking. I like to measure this too and see if we scored or not here. So I'm going for the normal six, but I'm doing, instead of the two inch, it was brought to my attention that if you're going to use an air nailer for nailing two, two, four inches together, basically, that's not going to work. The nails for the guns aren't long enough. So that's why we got to use this inch and a half crap. All right, so hopefully down here, we got an inch and a half. Bang on. Bang on. Pretty close. <laughs> it's getting a bit thicker down here. But we're not too bad there. But it's this way that's gonna be more important for if you're putting on sheathing or something. So we're six six. Six. Big crack here, but we're six there. Yeah, we're good there. We're good for the sixes. So that's good. We scored one more two by six out of that. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, that didn't work good. That'd be good for a stud though, right? Got a little bit of weighing on it, but really not too bad. Kind of come out pretty good. All right. That is good. So I got the other bits that I've cut already down here. Hopefully they're still all right. Not all twisted to frig, you know. This one looks like it split a bit. But that's okay because they're uh, longer than they'll need to be anyways. I've did 12s and we're gonna do 12 foot wall, but you don't need a full 12 foot piece for that because you're gonna have header boards and stuff, right? So, all right, while we're down here, I got one more log at the moment fire up big johnny we'll go load them i don't think i'm gonna cut it today look this is way too freaking hot out here this is stupid out here today holy cow better places to be 
So we're figuring for just the walls on this, I need 100, well, it's about 80, 85, two by sixes just for the walls. And there's gonna be a big garage door right here. <coughs> on this side, we're gonna have like a little man door. <coughs> and then wall, 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 wall to the door. So we're figuring about 80 two by two by sixes. So we're gonna need more yet. <laughs> get uh, the longer things on there. They're too short right now to roll off the back. we got and uh, found that it was going to be dead soon anyways we're still able to get a bit of wood out of it though which is good but uh, it uh, had a bit of rot in the bottom I can show you the piece I cut and it's got a big chunk of kind of rotten stuff might not be any good for us for our porpoises Okay, I better put these log stops back in here, the bigger ones, so it doesn't roll off the back. Because that's not what you want to have happen. And now they've come out with these things with like a big roller bearing on it, so when it hits this, it rolls, so when you're flipping it, it's a lot easier. Of course they do. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm sure I got another one of these bars though, but... Woo. I'm kind of liking that uh, roller idea though, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna have to make something work. It's about time to get the blower out again here too. Um, okay, we might actually be... Uh, Pretty close to roll that right on here. I'm a little bit, uh, I might roll that way enough. Get up there, you get my hole. Oh, that's great. He just decided not to stay in there, huh? Thanks, that helps me. Stinky thing. All right. Need to get it down a little bit though, unfortunately. And I don't know if I can do that from this end or not. Need to push her down. Whoa. Whoa. Might be all we're getting. Sweet. Yeah, that should be all right. And we're tight here. Not really tight down there, though. So, grab our hook again. Now we're tight. I didn't just like the feel of that. Is it coming off the back here, too? Might be. Might just be. I don't really like moving this thing a whole lot. And see, that one's not super tight. Well, that one is. That means I don't like it sitting on these blocks, to be honest. I really think it should be on like a big I beam, steel I beam. But then I don't know how the I beam would sit on the concrete. It'd probably be slipping and it's lying all over the place. But an I beam would be definitely solider too, right? All right. Yeah, I don't feel like cutting this one tonight. 
heck with that. It's way too hot out here. You almost got to get out first thing in the morning and do it, but I think for today we'll leave her. And our blade is still nice and sharp, so that's nice. Let's take the tension off for overtime here. Yeah. And uh, should probably put it down here too. Oh, we're almost down. Yeah. Pretty good there. Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that'll be all right. I can feel the sweat beating off me already. I don't mind sweating, but today is Sunday and I just don't really feel like sweating too much, to be honest. <laughs> It'd be nice to have got that down a little more, though. I don't really want to push it with the tractor, though. particularly want to back into my truck. One thing I don't like about the forklift is you can't see where you're sitting, you know what I mean? your forks are. There, it's got her a bit closer. Because I got the two grabbers for the skid steer attacher there, and you can't tell where they are, where your forks are. Kind of sucks, but... So let's go down and have a look at our wood. I don't think I'm going to have time to uh, record this so when we're doing it, when we're building, because we're going to be kind of going at it, and I don't have time for camera stuff, you know what I mean? So I will give you update videos through the process here. But uh, Kevin, his name, the guy that helped me do the cement, because he's got building knowledge, we'll say. He uh, suggested that instead of building our own rafters and joists and stuff, he says, I know we just get a truss company to build just some trusses. I'm like, oh, okay, that would work. And he's like, yeah, oh, they're not that expensive. You know, like a truss for this would be like maybe 150 a piece. I'm like, no, that's, that's better because then they'll put it together with the right, <laughs> pardon my French, the right stuff too, right? Now, have I got a square that goes the other way? I don't think I have one here. Well, I wanted to kind of check this one we just cut here. Make sure it's kind of square. I think it's actually pretty good. It's hard to tell with that, but I'm just looking at the, the one here, seeing if it deviates at all inch and a half it's a little bit thicker in the middle but like i say that won't matter that won't matter as much so um look at this already though i already started to like mold a bit like holy crap and this stuff even sat out here and dried like overnight but let's see we've got uh we've got some here that are two inch too which oh boy they ever cracking too oh man I don't know. I really wanted to do my own lumber, but like I say, that's going to be all right because we can just nip a bit off the ends. So I think we're only going to need like 11 and whatever. I can't remember the measurements now, but it's going to be, should be fine. Definitely got some chatter happening here, though, but it could have been this moving too as we're cutting. It seemed to cut fairly good though, but. Yeah, they're starting to crack though, starting to dry up a bit. So these ones here are the true six by inch and a half. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 now. And these ones are half cuts, you know, like from the very bottom. So you might still be able to use them as studs or something or double them up or something. So I got a long way to go. We'll put it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 out of about 80, I think we need. So we need uh, like 75 more. That's that's a lot more. The one big piece, though, I guess it was the butt of this big tree we got. I think I got uh, nine pieces out of it, so it didn't do too bad. But, of course, the smaller you go, the less you're getting out of it, right? So, oh. But we might potentially not be able to use these big ones here. I might have to cut them again. I don't know if I want to put them on and try to cut them again or just maybe go buy one of those planers and run it through them and we could turn them down. Or just go buy some wood. <laughs> I might just have to do that too. Anyways. We're thinking about 80 pieces for all the walls here. We're going to have maybe a window somewhere. I don't know, maybe a window here and here. We'll see. And this is probably going to be solid. Be a man door. Like right here. Kind of thing. It would make sense to have a garage door here. I know, but I made it shorter. It's longer this way. Because why? I don't know. Don't ask me. And then we're going to have a 10 foot by 10 foot garage door right here where I can actually drive in. I can get my truck in here. I have to come in and then kind of turn a little bit sideways. And then like park here and then it's it gets right in. So if we ever got to do anything or get the backhoe in here, we can get the backhoe in here and do stuff on it through the winter or whatever. But yeah, I got a lot of wood to cut yet. Yeah. Oh man. Well, that sucks. Which also means I gotta go find more trees somewhere. And actually, oh, I forgot to show you this tree that we cut. This is the very bottom piece here, and it's all punky and not so good, maybe. It might not be too good for anything. There was a big... You're gonna die. Oh, we're coming back for more. Missed him again, holy... There's a big uh, piece that was looks like it had been eaten by stuff in that one. So, I mean, it was dead anyways, but we got it before it got too bad. That's actually a freaking damn piece. Good piece, of, good, piece of, good, good piece of wood. It's so hot out here, I can't even talk. And uh, the odd time I'd have to, like I did the other night, I have to uh, square these ends up too. That one's going to need squared. Because you'll go to nail that together and it'll be all screwy, right? I'll do that in our time too. I don't know what to do right now. This end's not too bad, actually. But it's when you cut the tree and you're cutting it with a chainsaw. If you don't cut her straight, then you gotta square all your ends up. Which kind of sucks. But okay, I'm gonna try her again. Full choke. Oh, it's got no gas and all the gas leaked out. Where the heck did the gas all go? What? It is gone. Wow. Okay, we're not starting that in. What a piece of junk. Into the freaking dumpster you go, bud. All right, so yeah, we'll get probably... Uh, let's see here. Let's go measure this log. Now, I always load the small end on here, because then you don't have to guess. If you load the bigger end, which... Let's measure that, too, because I think this one's almost the same the whole way. Man, I got some gear in there somewhere. Uh, this is probably about 15 inches. Nope, 13. 13 and a half, bang right on. What's this side? Oh, yeah, this is the larger end, so we've got 14 and a half. So we're another inch bigger down here, so we're going to lose about an inch of wood. But, once I cut the top off of this, and we'll flip it, cut the top off the other side, and then we'll put this flat side up against the bunks there, and then we'll cut the top off again, get rid of the barky crap, and then we'll go down six inches and cut. So we're gonna be, uh, ooh, we might get two maybe out of that. So that's good. So we cut down the six inches, then we go this way, and we've got about 10 or 11. So that'll get us 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten anyways, times two. So I might get 20 two by sixes out of that one piece. So that's not bad. You get a little bit bigger stuff, it's not bad. If you can cut these six inch slabs off, and then you'll have a six inch by 10 inch. Slap that on there and tighten her up and then start cutting your off. You can get a fair bit of wood out of one of these, but there now you can see the, the mill is square here. The log's not, so we're gonna have to square up all these too. That kind of sucks. You guys, uh, you don't maybe realize you buy a piece of wood at the store. Yeah, it costs a few bucks for that piece of wood, but it's had to go through a fair bit of, bit of work, you know probably more to it than I even know but you know it's had to come off the let's call it the field or the bush and uh, trucked in so I'm cutting a tree and bringing it in um, finding a tree too, cutting it stripping all the crap off it you know cut it to your length and drag it out to whatever Ooh, it's got sap in it too Ooh, it's really sappy too <laughs> I'm gonna be sticky oh it smells so good though um, yeah, you got to bring it here. So, you know, same with them having to do that. Get it in the mill. Get it positioned length-wise and stuff. Figure out what you can get out of it. Although there's all computerized, I'm sure it knows that's 14-inch log. We're going to cut it this way. Brrr, done. It's a lot different for them now, I guess, you know, when they got all this computerized crap to do it for them kind of thing. But, uh, you know, I'll get... Uh, I don't think I'll get 20 out of that, but I'll probably get um, at least 15, I would think, out of that big big feller. It's not the biggest I've had on here, though. I've had a, whoo, man, that one was big. Oh, 20, I think it was 25 inch. And this thing will do a 26 inch log. And I'll tell you what, that was a freaking fight twisting and turning that. And I didn't really want to do that again. <laughs> so anyways, so there we go. Thanks again for watching. Oh, I'm going to head home because it's really friggin' hot out here. I'll have to get cutting that maybe early, early in the morning. I haven't really been filming the, the big cuts, though, because I really got to pay attention to myself. Find and know if I'm filming and talking, I'm losing my, my track. Exactly. Train of thought, track of thoughtness, and I, I screw the things up, so... I think that's what happened maybe maybe with that one piece but it worked good it's holding logs for us too we're not didn't put it to waste so but uh but then yeah there is some stuff over there i could probably use and get some other marking stakes and stuff out of or whatever so maybe we will sometime put that on but uh yeah but anyways gotta find some more wood mm. well you guys have a good one thanks again for watching it's kind of hard to believe that this ends an inch and a half smaller than an inch or so smaller than that end looks about the same doesn't it a little bit of a taper into it but of course the longer the log you get too the more taper you got in it so the longer material you'll need the more trees you're going to need because you're going to get less out of it because it's a longer board and this end you're not going to get as much as that end you know so if i'm only doing like eight foot stuff i probably would have got way more out of it that's the way she works i need 12 foot material we can always cut it down right oh but anyways thanks again for watching I'll catch you all later it is freaking hot out here and i'm going home this is a, a slab that we cut off something too. This was a big tree. Kind of works as a good little ramp. Yep, instead of a staircase. It's, I'm just too lazy to build a staircase there. But uh, that's a heavy slab, let me tell you. Holy moly. Anyways, you guys have a good one. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. And have yourselves a good day. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell. <coughs> I choke on some sawdust. I was using a thumb screw for the GoPro chest mount here that I actually 3D printed. <laughs> Just so you know. You can see the 3D printing on it and the, the lines. Worked pretty good. Free, 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 free program or free uh, pattern. <laughs>